Good evening. My name is Belinda Shimmerhorn, school counselor at Bagley High School. I'm joined today by Christy O'Byrne and Kim Halverson, the senior class advisors. Typically at this point, I would be welcoming you to the Bagley High School and thanking you for being a part of the Class of 2020 Awards Banquet. As we all know, the end of this school year has been anything but typical. The last months of our seniors' final year at Bagley High School has been replaced with online learning and social distancing. Today we want to thank you for joining us in celebrating the honors and scholarships awarded to a group of high achieving seniors in the best way that we can. The celebration may be atypical, but it is a great honor to present these awards to our students. We will start by recognizing our honor students. Students with a cumulative GPA of at least 3.5 upon completion of the first semester of their senior year are recognized as honor students. These students will be awarded honor cords that they will wear during the graduation ceremony to recognize this achievement. The class of 2020 honor students are Brig Abraham, Taylor Coyle, Peyton Hootery, Maria Melbo, Tristan McCoy, Samantha Molitor, Trey Netlin, and Lindsay Willis. High Honor Medals. Students earning at least 3.8 cumulative GPA upon completion of their first semester of their senior year are recognized as high honor students. These students will be awarded honor medals to wear during graduation to recognize this achievement. The class of 2020 high honor students are Kylie Anderson, Corey Bonick, Logan Ingesether, Blake Erickson, Isabel Gerbrock, Kennedy Grover, Sarah Hecht, Demi Keel, Jenica Moen, Aliyah Nelson, Samuel Scherzer. Each month, the Bagley High School teachers nominate one senior to be recognized as having the positive traits and qualities that we pride in our students. This year's Senior of the Months were September, Isabel Gerbrot, October, Peyton Hootery, November, Sam Scherzer, December, Kylie Anderson, January, Corey Bonick, and February, Blake Erickson. Two of our seniors will be recognized as 4-H graduates. These students will be given green and white 4-H cords that they will wear on graduation. These cords commemorate their dedication to the 4-H program. The graduates are Isabel Gerbrot and Trey Netlin. At this point, we will recognize scholarship awards given to 18 of our 44 graduating seniors. These awards total a cumulative amount of $167,690. This year, we will recognize these awards by students in alphabetical order. Starting with Brig Abraham, she will be receiving a $1,000 award from the Faith Foundation. Kylie Anderson will be receiving four scholarships. The first one being the Bagley High School Area Scholarship Fund Number no. One in the amount of $500. This scholarship is awarded to the highest ranked student enrolled in a post secondary education program. This year, Kylie shares this honor with two of her classmates. She will also receive the Faith Foundation Award in the amount of $1,000, the University of Minnesota. Twin Cities 2020 Scholarship in the amount of $2,020. The University of Minnesota Twin Cities Presidential Scholarship 
in the amount of $16,000. The Doris Anderson Memorial Award is given annually to a student who has been an active participant in speech and theater during his or her high school years. The award funds, given by her family, are managed by the Northwest Minnesota Foundation and the Bagley Area Scholarship Committee. Doris Anderson once stated that her best memories and most significant learning experiences were through her participation in speech and theater. Her legacy continues as tonight we honor two students who have been in, active in Bagley High School theater activities. Tonight, one award of $500 is given by the Doris Anderson Memorial Fund and the other matching award is given by the Bagley Community Theater. The first recipient is Logan Angusether. Logan began his theater activities as an eighth grader when he delighted audiences with his portrayal of Mike TV in the BHS production of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. He continued to play roles in both one act, plays, and in the spring productions. Most memorable are Templeton the Rat in last year's musical Charlotte's Web, and then this winter, during the one-act play, he played the stern production boss amidst an emerging women's workforce. Logan, it has been a pleasure to direct you throughout the many years and to see your growth as an actor and a very fine young man. Congratulations, Logan. The second award is to Jenica Mohn. Jenica has played many roles over the past several years, including Charlotte in Charlotte's Web. And she was the leader among the women working at the Badger Munitions Plant during World War II in this year's one act, Badger. Jenica started her theater experience in church plays and in Prairie Fire Children's Theater. And she has grown to be a powerful lead actress on the stage. Last summer, she played the part of the daughter, Sophie, in the hit all, all School Reunion production of Mamma Mia. Her amazing voice and her strong stage presence have delighted audiences for many years, and she will be greatly missed. But we know her future is bright. Congratulations, Jenica. The Tuesday Study Club organization is comprised of area women who work to give back to their communities. This organization is nearly 100 years old and includes approximately 25 local women. Much of the history of the local Tuesday Study Club includes membership in the GFWC, the Greater Federation of Women's Clubs, which is a national organization. The Tuesday Study Club Local work includes an annual luncheon called Tables for Tots, which helps to raise funds to support the Clearwater Christmas Project. They also organize the distribution of gifts and food to local families. Additionally, the Tuesday Study Club collaborates with other community groups to support the fireworks fundraising efforts, helping to make our 4th of July celebration a bit more festive. For many years, this group has given scholarships to young women in both the Bagley and the Clearbrook Gondick schools who demonstrate leadership, scholarship, character, and community service. This year's Bagley recipient is Corey Bonick. Corey has been a student council leader throughout her high school years, serving and leading her fellow students in the many, many activities that are involved in student council here at Bagley High School. She has been a volunteer at the Bagley Senior Center. She works in the youth group of her church and in her community, she has coached various recreational opportunities for children. We know that she will succeed in her goal to become a pharmacist and we hope 
that she will continue to serve the future community that she will call home. This scholarship gift in the amount of $500 is awarded with our congratulations, Corey Bonick. The Sharon Carls Memorial Scholarship is in memory of Sharon, who was a second grade teacher in Bagley for 34 years. She loved teaching and loved her students. We hope this memorial will help further your education as an elementary teacher. We'd like to present the fourth annual Sharon Carls Memorial Scholarship to Kennedy Grover. Congratulations, Kennedy. Corey Bonnick will receive the following scholarships. The Pepsi Flyer Pride BHS Athletic Scholarship, $500. The Pepsi Student Council Scholarship, $500. This was awarded to Corey for her work as the Student Council President during the 2019-2020 school year. Urban Blix Post 16 Bagley American Legion Charitable Gaming Scholarship, $750. Faith Foundation Award, $1,000. Tuesday Study Club Scholarship, $500. Elbert F. Kaiser and Eleanor Kaiser Scholarship, $1,000. Irene Ricky Romer Memorial Scholarship, $500. Margaret Davids Scholarship, $1,000. City of Leonard Hard Times Bash, $300. Bagley Rotary Scholarship, $500. North Dakota State University Provost Award, $5,000 to be given over a total of four years. Logan Ingesether will be receiving an award from the Bagley High School Area Scholarship Fund in the amount of $500. This scholarship is awarded to the second ranked student enrolled in a post-secondary education program. He is also receiving an award from the Doris Anderson Memorial Award in the amount of $500, as well as the Darwin Thorbeck Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $10,000 that will be distributed over four years, and the Bemidji State University Scholarship in the amount of $2,000. Blake Erickson, the Faith Foundation Award in the amount of $1,000. Olivia Esty, University of Minnesota Twin Cities, $16,000 to be given over four years. Isabel Gerbrot will receive the High Flyer Scholarship in the amount of $500. In addition to the Urban Blix Post 16 Bagley American Legion Membership Scholarship in the amount of $750. And the Ultima Bank Minnesota Scholarship in the amount of $2,000. The Margaret David Scholarship Fund in the amount of $1,000. The University of Minnesota Crookston Achievement Scholarship in the amount of $26,000 that will be distributed over four years. In addition, she will receive the University of Minnesota Crookston Golden Eagles Pledge Scholarship in the amount of $250. Kennedy Grover will be receiving seven scholarships. The Bagley High School Casual for a Cause Staff Scholarship in the amount of $250. The American Legion Auxiliary Department of Minnesota in the amount of $1,000. The Urban Blicks Post 16 Bagley American Legion Charitable Gambling Scholarship in the amount of $750. Jorgensen Family Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500. Margaret Davids Scholarship Fund, $1,000. Sharon Carlson Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500. Grand Canyon University President Scholarship $3,750. Sarah Hecht, Faith Foundation Award, $1,000. University of Minnesota Twin Cities 2020 Scholarship, 
$2,020. Marlon Horgan will be receiving a scholarship from the Grand Canyon University Antelope Scholarship in the amount of $12,000 that will be distributed over a period of four years. Peyton Hootery, Bagley High School Scholarship Fund number three in the amount of $500. Demi Keough, Grand Canyon University President Scholarship in the amount of $7,500. Maria Melville will receive a $500 scholarship from the Bagley High School Area Scholarship Fund. She will also receive scholarships from the Urban Blix Post 16 Bagley American Legion Charitable Gaming Scholarship in the amount of $750. The Choice Therapy Scholarship in the amount of $500. Friends of Sanford Health Scholarship in the amount of $1,500. Albert F. Kaiser and Eleanor Kaiser Scholarship in the amount of $1,000. Margaret David's scholarship in the amount of $1,000. Sharon Dukek Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500. Bagley Rotary Scholarship in the amount of $500. She will also receive scholarships from the University of North Dakota Hawk Scholarship in the amount of $1,500 and the University of North Dakota Merit Scholarship in the amount of $1,000. Jenica Moen will be receiving three scholarships. Bagley High School Area Scholarship Fund Number 1 for $500. This scholarship is awarded to the highest ranked student enrolled in a post-secondary education program. Community Theater Scholarship $500. NOLA Ellis Memorial Scholarship, $100. This scholarship is given to a female graduate who has overcome obstacles in earning her high school diploma. This award honors Jenica's incredible strength and determination. Samantha Molitor, Southwest Minnesota State University Presidential Scholarship, $10,000 to be awarded over four years. Trey Netlin will receive scholarships from Essentia Health Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 and the Margaret Davids Scholarship Fund in the amount of $1,000. Samuel Scherzer has been awarded four scholarships. The Bagley High School Area Scholarship Fund number one in the amount of $500. Sam joins Kylie Anderson and Jenica Moen and not only earning this award, but the academic standing as the highest ranked students in the class of 2020 with a 4.0 GPA. The Pepsi Flyer Pride BHS Athletic Scholarship in the amount of $500. The University of Minnesota Twin Cities College of Biological Sciences Marie K. and David L. Goldsbrick Scholarship in the amount of $4,000 to be distributed over four years. The University of Minnesota Twin Cities Iron Range Scholarship in the amount of $16,000 to be distributed over four years. Nikita Vincent, Minnesota State University Moorhead Freshman Ignite Scholarship in the amount of Greetings, I am Pastor John Swanson, representing the Bagley Ministerial Association. We want to uh, congratulate our graduates of 2020 and let them know that we are here for them, that we are supporting them, that we are praying for them, and we are encouraging them. We would normally have a baccalaureate service in which we would gather together and pray for each and every one of our graduating seniors, give them some words of encouragement, and just challenge them to continue to seek excellence and to seek Christ in their future. We want you to know that although we're not able to have a uh, baccalaureate this year, we are still here for you. We are still supporting you. We're still praying for you. 
We are believing that God has got his hand upon you and that your future is going to be great. So I want to encourage you not to give up, but to continue to fight on. And God has got a great plan and a great future for you, as our scripture says. One of the things we also do on Baccalaureate is present the Inspirational Teacher of the Year Award. And this is an award given to a teacher whom the graduating class has chosen because of the impact that person has had on their educational experience. And so this year, I am going to take this opportunity to present that award at this time. The recipient of the Class of 2020's Inspirational Teacher Award goes to Ole Anderson. We want to congratulate Ole Anderson and thank him for his years of service, his dedication to the education of our students, and specifically this Class of 2020. So congratulations, Ole Anderson. Good luck, Class of 2020. May God bless you. We would like to extend one final congratulations to the Class of 2020 Scholarship and Award recipients. We wish you the very best. As I let you go Gonna tell you how much I love you Though you think you already know I remember I thought you looked like an angel Wrapped in pink so soft and warm You've had me wrapped around your finger Since the day you were born You beautiful baby from the eye Chase your dreams, but always know the road that'll lead you 